How was that? When ended up going with football? Yeah, no, it was, uh, as I said a couple of times, there's a fair bit going on out there today. And, um, yeah, great ending. Uh, you know, it's um, um, in terms of what we're trying to build, uh, you know, there's obviously the football side of it, but there's also trying to build a, a sort of spirit and character and resilience within the group. And I think uh, they showed bags of it today. And, you know, that hopefully... Uh, you know, it gives us the opportunity to, to sort of fuel that further and, uh, you know, every time you have to deal with adversity and you overcome it, I think it helps in what you're trying to grow. So, yeah, very much all the team involved for one person, but for one person to do the and how much of an impact does he have in his competition? Yeah, no, he was, you know, Richie was great and I thought all the subs who came on really helped, um, you know, but that's that's been a consistent theme. But, yeah, for Richie, you know, I guess it was the point I was trying to make yesterday is that, you know, even for him to understand that you, you try and maintain a balance in life and his football hasn't been that bad, you know. He's still been contributing for us and, you know, but sometimes you let, you know, when you struggle with certain parts of your life, you let it sort of go into the other areas. But, you know, he, you know, the football is one area where he can control and, you know, he works hard every day at training and, you know, Brian, he got his rewards today and hopefully that gives him a little bit more of a settled feeling to deal with, you know, the other issues he has in his life. Like everyone, like I said, you know, it's it's about not letting it overwhelm you and, um, you know, hopefully a day like today helps him. Yes, so you gave some insight into you know, the sort of message you were going to give to him. I just wondered if there was anything else you said to him today before the game? No, no I didn't speak to him. I, you know, again, like I don't, you know, that's not my sort of area of expertise, that, you know, if, not just for Richie, for all the boys, you know, who, who have issues. We have people who are much better equipped to handle those kind of things. I think for me, like I said, it, what I try and do is provide a, an environment for the players where they can come in and feel at least comfortable in that space. And, you know, I didn't want to overwhelm Richie with me, you know, asking a million questions or giving advice for stuff that really, you know, I don't really know and I probably shouldn't know because, you know, that's, that's, that's for him to to work out with people who are better equipped than me. My role, like I said, is you know, provide an environment here at the football club that allows them to hopefully, um, like I said, feel secure in this part of their life. And uh, so I didn't really have anything to say to him. Um, but I'm sure, you know, it's, it's a great group of players, you know, they've been around him and you could see that at the end, just how happy they were for him. Well, that's what I was thinking, but at the same time, I was a bit surprised when only three minutes went up in the first half, so it kind of, I was a bit, you know, but uh, just inside me, I thought we'd have at least 10 minutes, if not longer, of, so, you know, kind of making the subs when I thought, because I, I still thought we were on top, I still thought, in terms of our football, we pretty much dominated the game, we just lacked that goal that, you know, would have sort of broken them open, and then, you know, they're always a threat from long throws or you know, set pieces when they get the ball in the box and you go a goal behind. So then it was just a matter of, you know, when to make the subs. But, I, you know, I was pretty confident there'd be at least 10 minutes, which I thought we had enough time to make the changes we needed. Yeah, it's 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 crucial, and uh, you know I think you're right. I think the, the fans played their part today, and, and you know it was it, it was a real f frustrating game in that, like I said, there was a lot of stoppages, a lot of dead time where you know, and sometimes we didn't deal with it well either. You know, sort of talking to the referee at unnecessary moments and just, instead of getting on with the game, and it would have been easy for our supporters to get frustrated. But I, I, I do think that our supporters are seeing in this team, even when things you know, weren't going to script today and we're one nil down. They can see the team trying to play, you know, the football that they want to see their team play. And I think that helps because they can resonate with that. That's what they want to see in their team. They want to see aggression when we have the ball, aggression when we don't have the ball. And I think they've, they're, they're bought into that because they can see that the players, that's what they're trying to do. And um, you're right, in this early phase, it's, it's, it's crucial because that, that hopefully sort of fast tracks our development as, as a football club because there's no doubt that the players got energy from the supporters today, no doubt about it. Yeah, you've got a personal record of, of just regular 15th league 
James is signing three clubs now during the season in home records. That's you must be quite proud of that. I mean, is that something where your real strength lies? I mean, it's, it's I've got many, mate. I've got more than one. Uh, I've got more than one strength, but <laughs> no, yeah, that's right. um, no, look, I, it's it, it's funny you say that, but I, I do I do put a big emphasis on that in terms of wherever I've been. I think because ultimately, for your supporters, that's you know as much as you enjoy the the away wins because they're you know you've got to earn every one of them. It's it's when they come to their home ground that you you really want to reward them, you know. So and and. You know, from that perspective, if you can create that atmosphere, and you know, I've been very fortunate. The last you know, three clubs I've had, you know, we've had, you know, even in Japan, would get thirty, forty thousand at Celtic. Well, you know, they're always sold out, and it creates an atmosphere. And you can see today that helps the team, and I think that helps you as, as a club if you're really strong at home. And uh, so, yeah, it's um, it's something I'm proud of. Well, it's everything. I mean, that's that's what I, you know, I'm talking about. You know, me as a football manager. That's that's what I've always been about. You know, I think you can track back my career for as long as you want. My teams have always played a certain way, and I think, you know, for every club that's appointed me, <coughs> I think they've appointed me because that's what they they're seeking. You know, so it's like I said, it's everything to me. It's the way we play is um, because it's not it's not just a you know, that I believe that's what gets you success because it does, that's what I believe and it has in my career. It also says a lot about you, you know, you as a, as a football club when you play the game that way because it requires a fair bit of bravery, a fair bit of courage, you know, a real relentlessness and, um, you know, when you play that way and I think, you know, that, that has to sort of marry with the image of, of the football club. No, not really. I mean, you know, I think my motto is you just keep going until the whistle sort of tells you to stop. And, you know, we, we pride ourselves on being a really, you know, fit team. And, and you know, I think in all our games we finish strong. Um, so we're geared. And, and it also, I think that's where the subs make a massive difference, you know, because, you know, you can make five substitutions, which that's half your team, your outfield team, that, you know, you can maintain int intensity and tempo for as long as the game goes. Um, but there are lessons in that because, you know, even for us, you know, you, you don't, you know, sometimes we have this whole picture in our head, you know, even when you're 1-0 up that the game goes for 90 minutes, but it doesn't, you know. And you saw today, it went for 112, 13 minutes, you know, and that's a significant amount of time, particularly towards the end of a game. Jack, last one, please. No, I mean that's not that, that that wasn't really relevant to me. Again, you know, it's um, I I kind of wanted to come in and come in with the energy of not sort of any baggage or any sort of remnants of last year. There's no point having that as a reference point for for anything you do. You know, for for what we were going to do, we we're going to be a different team. We we're going to do things differently. Different players, different coaches, um, different look in the way we did things. So there's, the, the, there was no point. You know, having you know some sort of reference point that wasn't really relevant to us, but you know, at the same time, you, you know, we felt it probably from the Shakhtar game and certainly the Man United game, and, and you know, this is only our second home game, you know, for the season, and um, that's two pretty memorable home games that hopefully creates a really good atmosphere moving forward. Very last one down here, please. Cool. <clears throat> Sorry, Ben. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, you saw you know, how difficult they, they made it for us. You know, I thought their keeper was outstanding. I thought they defended their box really well, you know, really brave and courageous. And, you know, they're a threat up front, you know, McBurney, Archer, they, they, they can cause teams problems. And we kind of knew that. Uh, for us, it was about maintaining our composure. And, you know, we felt if we got a goal ahead, then, 
you know, we, we'd able be able to sort of find more space. But, um, you know, I think it's, you know, Paul's got a clear sort of idea and they've got a few injuries at the moment too. But there's, you know, in all the games, I think they've only lost by the single goal. So they've been competitive and I'm sure they will be moving forward. OK, thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys.